The real question is, how do I get to war with France now? He's got no more friends left, so I can't get to loose unless I know CB. And that's a bit extreme. Hmm. There's too many of them. Oh, will you just let me walk through? Thank you. There. When those finish, we walk here and then we walk there and we're all done. Cannons to that siege, even if it is a stupidly long walk. Or, could we not just ask for access? There. Cannons to that siege. Get those off. I no longer need access through... Who? Mm, I don't need access through Saluzzo in a moment. And it's time to get ready for the war with Russia. Damn you, Novgorod. I want you to... Would you vassalize from up there? No, our distance between borders is too great. Cancel this access. You join those. Heading to there, please. You can all sit on the Theodoran Rebels. Or actually, you can all go that way. I'll even help the Ottomans. That's... That's how generous we're feeling. Good. Don't care about the rest. Consolidate. Head over to that Russian border. Then cancel that access. This is bullshit! The AI can do that. Don't like it that the human player can't. We got stuck because someone cancelled access. I am going to need to re-improve with him so that he's willing to re-ally. And if this is done, am I happy to eat Genoa as well? No, I get this one back from Muscovy when we do that. But other than that, yes. I don't think I'm holding out for Corsica. I'd rather get rid of the relationship slot. Are you going to give me that province now? Thank you, and war reps tick, and money tick. Done. <gasps> Come on over to that Russian border. I got Poland. Yes, we have got Poland. Poland is ours. Not allowed to start annexing you yet. 
What about you? Not for another year. But he's, he's scootaged, so he's ready. Re-up with the Pope. He's forgotten why he should be giving me more Pope points. Get up on that Russian border. We need to do some more admin dev. Uh, one of these has gems. So it should definitely have that. Because it's twice as effective. This one can have this province's that. Or this state's that, I should say. Cow, cow, wool. Wool can have that state's that one in a moment. Okay. Still making money. You could invest in tech early, but no. Maybe just go do some of these. There. What month next year is the truce with Russia? April? So you're about to go away and then it's Smolensk. That's going to go away. Marry them. I would marry you, but I can't. You're already happy. What month this year are you ready to go away? April. So two more. In fact, the same time as the Russian war. Although it looks like the Russians have begun losing to the Ottomans. Which is actually awkward to us, because some of these are stuff that we want to return. But, whatever. What's our ideas? Exclaim ideas, uh, ultra cool man. Oh, sorry, ultima cool. Uh, but diplo, because we need lots of diplomats for generating claims, managing our subjects, keeping everyone happy, carrying favours, and aggressive expansion burn off. Innovative, because no one else had taken it yet, and we were running, like, we were overflowing on admin points. Quantity, because manpower is god. Manpower is your most basic resource, followed by ducats. And we haven't decided on the next one yet. We have not decided on the next one yet. Woo. Truce with Russia is up. War of Reconquest for all of, I don't know. Not that. What about for Bryansk? Bryansk seems like a fine target. Done. Go get Bryansk. As for Cleves, you can go deal with Cleves. They're going to regret their alliance with uh, Mr. Russia. Uh, I'm not really a fan of trade. I have to say, there's very few situations in which I don't think colonizing does a better job of giving you more merchants than trade does. Which is the primary thing that trade ideas gives you. Lots of extra merchants. That's probably worth if they get killed by the Ottomans after. It's not like we are low on manpower. Rebuild them. OK. 
Okay, that's the Pope happy. Um, so after this, it's Smolensk and Genoa and Ferrara. Which brings us down to 10 of 8. And I can get rid of the Ottoman access. Except that I'm not allowed to. Other people have land. There we go. Good. And then I can also get rid of Lithuania once this war is over and I can ask for these back. Quality can be good too. Uh, well, looking at our points, it's going to probably have to be admin or mill. Religious would honestly be really useful. We're about to start touching over here. And if we want to... Like, we're also going to run out of reconquest on Russia soon. So, religious would kind of make sense for giving us a really nice CV. It's still a fair way away until, um... The advanced Cassus Bellis. Well, admin again. God, there's a lot of very low dev stuff over here. Now let's have a look at approximately how much it is to do all that we want. I can't because it's all occupied by the wrong people, and so you're not allowed to even look, which is annoying because I would like to look. They should just say, you can't actually take this. I'll buy the stab back with the poke points. Make Portugal like us. Or build a... Manufactory in Marienburg. Sure, I'll build a uh, state maintenance modifying building in Marienburg. Deal.
leaves is almost finished. Up to the next fort. I shouldn't be doing nothing with all these diplomats. Um, one could be doing laps with our friends. One could be making sure you still love me. I'm not going to re-ally you until after your war is done, though. You love me. I probably need more favours with you. Yes. Um... Yeah, sure, you as well. There's Cleves, good. Cleves, welcome to peace. And to giving me some prestige. Back off to here, and then if they de-siege anything, I can try and snipe it. Okay, you need to go to here. And if Russia really wants me to work it, we can work it. Don't think I won't, Russia. No, but I do want to do your stuff. I don't want to risk those dying. Uh, I do want to go around and level the rest of these up to tens. There, that'll have to do for the moment. Double check that none of them need... ...these. Well, that one could have it. But that's about it. Yep, they're starting to de-siege stuff over here. This will establish... They... They did not lose. Austria did not lose the war. So now I'm left to feel silly for not joining on their side, but... It didn't look good for them. Yep. Uh, are you locked? Can we try and get you across to there, please?
Mm. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Looks like we're going to have to at least back off to there. Oof. God damn it. Oh yes, but now that nothing is occupied, we can have a look at how much it will be. We sort by person, please. That's not that bad. Might as well spy on him for some extra siege speed. It's not like I'm doing anything else useful with our diplomats at the moment. You should be scared. I have enough troops here. Why aren't you scared off?
आ गया Cannons to that siege. We got we got like four generals. What are you talking about? I think you're talking out your backside at the moment, I have to say. We have plenty of generals. in there as well. You're possibly going to be needed. They kill off these. Can we back them off? No. You guys, up here as well. Moskva holds! Whew. Okay, you two there. You there. You. Group split there. And there. And there. Or not. Even better. Damaged guys. Stay still. These guys split. Looks good. Would have been nice if we could have had a leader there, but oh well. No, the trouble is when you regroup them and then split them again... On enemy territory, you're not allowed to assign generals. And we haven't occupied enough of this. So I keep having to move around in locations where I can't assign the generals. Not that I don't want to, that I can't. I'm not losing 500 ducats. I'd rather lose the 100 dip. And then when you finish, you go... Ally and Shua Novgorod. Find out what it's going to take. Oh, yes. Well, I can't do it till I'm at peace. But, um, he'll give me all of what I want right now. Do I care about giving the Great Horde stuff back? Not really. Do I care about giving anything else's stuff back? <sighs> There's maybe a case to be made for returning a bit of Novgorod so that I can try and vassalize Novgorod. So, like, where's Kolm? If I do this, I'll be able to vassalize Novgorod. So, yep, we're going to do that. We're going to push for this. <laughs> That's a real bastard move to, like, give Novgorod land back so that I will have a border on him so that I can vassalize him. But if it works... If it works...
Do 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 do. Yeah, it kind of makes you like wish there was some sort of feature that's like I want to assign two generals to one army so that when I split them up later, I can still have a general there. Uh, we'll take the dip annex cost plus another relationship because the other another relationship actually pays for itself very quickly for us. He'll probably say yes now. Double check. Is there anything else I'd like? I wouldn't mind some war reps. That'd be awesome. It would be nice. Okay, double check. Does this belong to anyone? Nope, no one that I can return it to. That's Zap Fourier, not anyone else. Although I could release a part of Zap Fourier. But I have enough subjects. Yep, that'll do. All of these. Now if you could gather up back in Danzig. And we work out who we're getting rid of. We were going to get rid of this guy. And Genoa. And ideally we were going to start asking for these provinces back. Now my raising favours with them has proven why we did it. Uh, we start annexing you. I don't need that spy network anymore. I do need the rest of these provinces returned. And we're also good to annex Chernigov. Austria wants our friendship back. I agree. I can't do this for one more year. Give me those two provinces and then you may also be integrated as far as I'm concerned. Although that's also not allowed for another couple of years. Hmm. <laughs> Austria van vassalized Munchen. So, yeah. Landschut has officially failed to uh, form Bavaria. There is now no hope of him Bavaria ring. It's inside Austria. It's never coming back. So, we de ally this kid fully. Retrust up with Austria, get rid of land should fully. <sighs> Ferrara is going, Smolensk is going. We're getting our claim on Novgorod so that we can eat up Novgorod, or vassalize Novgorod more accurately. The Reckless Privateer, great. Done, I don't think I'm using a slot on you anymore. Okay, we're going to go vassalize Novgorod, but we're eating up Ferrara. Smolensk, and in another year or two, in two more years, we'll also be getting rid of Chernigov and Litauen. I, I have enough favours with Denmark that I can break him up with Novgorod just before I attack. I'm going to have to be Careful there. These do not want to stand in a single pile. Train. Split. They're pretty much all equally expendable. There we go. 
So that will cost us a fair bit of manpower. But it has ruined Russia's borders. And next time we might get to Holy War him. If we've got our Holy War CV by then. If not, uh, I probably should go back to fabricating on him then. Uh, so, hello. This. We can no longer claim Theodoro. That's fine. So October, March, and February. February isn't that far away. I feel like I was going to build something over here, wasn't I? I'd promised to build a manufactory somewhere. Here. That's what we're saving up for. Otherwise, these should gather together. Privateer the English, please. And we could look at building a capital ship. I would need a handful more. How much does each one give? Each one is currently, let's say, 100 sailors. So, five more is about 500. Yep, that's probably enough. Looks good. Less good is that we aren't up to date on all our techs. That unlocks. Now we're probably going to go religious here. Claim one. And it was time to start in the next one of the integrations, which was... You? No, you? Yes, Chernigov, go bye-bye. Yes. Hey, Vaynard, how you doing? How you doing? The depletion of the Euro Beaver. Goodbye. Goodbye, Beaver. So now our dip points are positively flowing out the door. <sighs> How is our aggressive expansion? I think it's probably low enough over here that I could afford to do other things, but that also says that I could afford to expand over here. So, like, maybe it's time to eliminate Würzburg. So who are his friends? That guy. Give it a handful of months, then we'll do that. Our tech is sadly even more disbalanced now. Yeah, I think we do religious. New horsey. I'll take the dip points, considering that we're already at max prestige anyway. And 
I'd forgotten we are about to do that. So we call back this, we push you here. I guess I have to ask for access through you and all your minions. That will get us up to the Novgorod border. It's like two more months worth of waiting for them to walk around. Now, I don't intend to accept Ryzanian. So, I am okay with concentrating this. I don't intend to accept Romagnol, so I'm also okay with concentrating that, but there's nothing to do there. And as for Chernigov... I don't intend to accept Mishar or Ryzanian, so this state can be concentrated. And this one. And this one. This state is also the wrong stuff. I don't intend to accept Ryzanian. That's Ruthenian, so it gets to live. We've done all that we can do, though. Uh, goal, yes, uh, Ultima Cool 12. But basically the idea is you have to, as Saxony, monopolize, as in own every, uh, porcelain Chinaware province. Okay, I think we're probably in position. Get claim two. Declare that this guy is at least two thirds tasty. Make sure to assign a general so I don't get told off by chat. Uh, I would like, at the moment, I would like dip points. Please. There we go. Deathhound would like to be a general. Um, we don't have a space at the sec, but we will put you on... As soon as the next guy dies, you can be next. Now I can do these. And we've got to decide if we're full stating this. It's none of it culture that we intend to fully accept. And I'm over the limit, so I think instead this all gets TC'd. At least once it's converted to the right religion, it can be TC'd. Get rid of our forts. You can see how much you suck at leading armies. Uh, the last time I rolled myself as a general in uh, someone else's chat, I got six, six for maneuver and like nothing else. So I was very good at running away, but nothing else. Okay, and then I need you to love me enough. Yeah. Zero, zero, one, zero. Uh, and then we need you to love us enough. Put all the cannons on the sieges, thank you. And he does have a siege pip. So we should make sure to have a general on the siege. Pretty good so far. I thought we killed... Oh, you're dormant, not Glosar. Meh, it's still getting done. 
So after this war, we do the Novgorod one. And we were promising to build this here. So let's start that. Cannons to the siege. Yeah, they're rare, but six siege pip generals are lovely when you get them. Okay, he'll probably give us what we want. And someone maxed out. That was you. Take these cannons across to that siege. Start piecing out the side people. Money, 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 money. And be the right religion, why not? Ninety-two, can we fail? No, we succeed. I can't force your religion, but I can force you to give me money. And then all of these up to Danzig. Okay, that's my aggressive expansion spent for a while. You take two provinces in the HRE and you're not allowed to do anything more. And this was while at max prestige, right? So I'm doing everything I can to mitigate our aggressive expansion and still, two provinces, nah, no more. Not allowed. We break Denmark up with you for favours. Not you, Denmark. Not Norway. What? <gasps> How do you exist again? I thought you got eaten. Huh? Yeah, it became a core of Denmark. So it looks like... It looks like Austria made them spit out Norway, or they chose to spit out Norway? Uh, nope, we are still Catholic. We have, as you can see here, the Pope points, the Pope point meter. I'm slightly covering it, but I'm also slightly not. The Pope point meter. Pope points are so good. They're worth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of points worth of admin. Now, you. Break Alliance, Novgorod, do. Novgorod, kill, do. And then we vassalize him. And then we have our next war against Muscovy easily set up. Uh, Russia, I should say. But you get the idea. Okay, you back to here. What? Oh, come on. Okay, you head up that way, you head down here. Okay, um, anyone who's already annexing can be unscootaged. And then the next person is Genoa. Yes, once we're at peace again. I need more favours with Denmark now that I've spent them all giving back Lithuanian land. And then when can we do Lithuania? We can also do Lithuania now. So it's Lithuania and Den uh, Genoa that need to go. They don't have the legitimacy to be called Russia with all that they have left. I don't know, they got a fair bit. We're not quite up to touching Moscow yet, with our borders. Hmm. 
There's nothing else that I touch yet. Any PUs on the table? Brittany Burgundy. Great Britain at 71. Ah, but they're rivaled, so there's no, no hope of that. Yeah, I'll throw my hat in the ring there. And then we just pay attention to if he dies. And if he dies, we just unmarry him. That needs turning up. Whoop. Maybe go sit in a way that doesn't cause attrition. Train. Ah, so someone has died. Uh, now it was... Death Hound. Death Hound 1. No double H. You're really good at running away, and you're really good at stabbing. You don't have a siege pip. But we'll forgive you on account of four shock. Four shock is worth one siege pip. Yeah, I'll trade that away. It is decent. It's decent. I'm not complaining. It's not like, ugh, what a garbage journal. It's, yep, that's good. Good, good, good. Rebalance our tech, at least a little bit. Nearly done, 28%. I could start generating claims on you, or indicating that we should generate claims on you. Approximately the same. You're not patient enough to siege. It's stab and keep moving. And it is. With four maneuver and four stabbing, it's stab and keep moving. What was that? It wasn't him having a baby. Good. You come back home. Don't want you getting stuck. And then as soon as you're in the Russian land, we can peace out. Done. So this plus vassalize the remainder. And some money, why not? Welcome to the family, Novgorod. I know you don't like it at the moment, but you're going to learn to like it. Be the right religion. I can't tell your opinion is positive. Fair. No point doing that anymore. There is point in marrying him. Seeing as he's a principality, he fell out of being a... Um, Republic. Yeah, my A is spent over here for the moment. We're in the 30s. We could try and get that. I'd want a transport fleet just sitting off of the edge of their land. We'll try. We'll try.
nope, no sense starting to annex anyone when we're not earning points quickly enough to do it. Uh, the next most important is war score cost. Yeremia, well, some of the other people are bound to start dying off soon. So soon enough we'll add you to the cohort of generals. You, over here. Okay. Uh, what else? We need more favours with you to make up for when we weren't friends. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy paying for that. Why not? Now, what will this do? Yearly papal influence. Sure, why not? Can we start annexing Poland yet? Two more years and we can annex Poland. France Litter. Group together. Continue training. Oh, was that a general dying? I don't care about Lubeck's spy network, although I could afford to have a claim on Lubeck. Nope, that was not a general dying, it must have been an advisor. Well, I can concentrate it again. Bye, Ferrara. I don't ever intend to accept Romagnol, so we're not, uh, going to be full... Oh, I already full state it because of that bit of... No, I should get rid of this state, maybe. 